Hey everyone, um, out killing time. So I thought I'd come up here to Oric, Missouri, because I know they take decent care of the roads, even the gravel ones, and uh, just visit some of the bridges I've visited before. So, shall we? All right, coming up on the Fishing River 60th Street Bridge in Oric, Missouri. The uh, bridge was built in 1904. So this is the Fishing River 60th Street Bridge in Oric, Missouri. Apologize for the wind noise, it's a little breezy. There's a train over there. But this bridge is 116 years old. I know when it was designed, it was never meant to last probably more than 25 or 30 years. Whew. Let's see, 1904 plus 25 is 1929. There's a reason it wasn't replaced then. pictures of it on the website uh, and those are 13 years old anyway let's go back Doherty Road Bridge. It's got a concrete deck, but it is pony truss. I don't recall when it was built, but uh, it's got a damage railing there, damage railing there. Anyway, I took a lot of pictures. So, uh, on to the next one. The uh, next bridge I want to go to is the 112th Street Bridge that crosses the Crooked River. Uh, I mean, it's literally just around the corner from this Doherty Road Bridge. Anyway.
This is the 112th Street Bridge that crosses the Crooked River. It was built in 1913. And I just drove over it. A little bit of railing damage. So the next bridge I want to go to is right over the hill. Is the Morton Road Bridge. It was built in 1889 and the decking gets replaced regularly. It has a weight limit of three tons. Uh, I can only imagine the people that built it thought it, you know, 10, 20 years at the most. creaks a little when I say that <laughs> and she's solid as a rock uh, try that again there we go <laughs> uh, there's another one in Harden that I want to go look at it's been closed for a while but it's another trust bridge bridge it's been closed a while uh, that big old snag right there <clears throat> pushed up against the bridge pushed the railings away uh, so the county closed it uh, not sure what the disposition of this bridge is going to be but uh, they had uh, pushed uh, a pile of rocks at each end of the bridge to keep people from driving across it. And well, subsequent flooding diminished that pile of rocks to that. That little bitty pile of rocks was all that's left. So people started driving across it again. So, county came back out. They put a bigger pile of rocks in front of it, which they needed to do. I mean, could the bridge still support traffic? Sure, but they they um, deemed it unsafe, uh, so they have to keep people from driving on it. But that is the Buffalo Road Bridge. And with that, I'm headed home. I'm back in the Jeep warming up. I'm still at the Buffalo Bridge site. <laughs> I can only imagine that person in that car thought I was crazy as I was walking back toward the Jeep. Uh, especially with some of the hand gestures I did. But anyway, uh, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. 
and if you haven't uh, do subscribe I appreciate it uh, very much I will uh, see you later